today, April 7th, 2020, is Tuesday of the Holy Week, and I invite you to reflect with me on the theme of Christ's redemptive love. The Gospel passage that we read today from John chapter 13, verses 21 to 33 and 36 to 38 gives us an opportunity to reflect deeply on what is happening in the hearts of both Judas and Peter. Jesus predicts Judas' betrayal and Peter's denial. Both turn against Jesus, but not in the same way. Both differs in the sense that Judas' betrayer was malicious, a deliberate and calculated effort at hardening his heart to truth and love. Judas made an idol out of his selfish gain. Satan locked at the threshold of his heart, waiting for his chance to enter in and drag him into darkness and sin. On the other hand, Peter's denier was due to human weakness and frailty. Peter shows us what happens when we place too much confidence in our own strength. Peter did not turn against Jesus like Judas. He falls because of weakness and imprudence, not malice. Jesus gave notice to his betrayer. As they were gathered for the supper, Jesus, who was troubled in spirit, declared, One of you will betray me. Jesus gave notice to Judas that he was aware of his plot. By exposing the betrayer, that is Judas, Jesus was making an appeal to him to change from his evil ways. Often, evildoers turn from their evil when their intentions are exposed. And Christ, by exposing the traitor, was making his last appeal to Judas to turn from his evil. Jesus made another appeal to Judas. He did the bread in the dish and gave it to him. The piece of bread was a sign of special attention, affection, and love that Jesus showed Judas. This action of Jesus was a further appeal to Judas. As soon as Judas received the morsel, he went out, and it was night. Judas became an ally of the Prince of Darkness, and so he chose darkness to prosecute his evil designs. Those who love dark deeds love darkness rather than light. Judas, by this singular act, closed himself to Christ's redemptive love. During this Holy Week, the questions we can ask ourselves is, do I tend to rely on my own natural gift rather than on the Lord and His strength? How do I react after I have sinned? Do I fall into self-recrimination and disappear and despair, or do I repent deeply? Let us pray. God our Father, grant us the grace to be able to open our heart and mind to your redemptive love so that we might be able to celebrate the coming of your Son at Easter. God bless you. Thank you.